Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. In today's session, I would like to show you how to remove the run history in Windows 10. So we can open any application by using a run command. So in order to open the run command, press start button and R in your keyboard so that run command will be open. And here you can give the instruction so that that particular application will be open. For example, uh, if I want to open Word, so I need not go to the start and search for the MS Word. So I will just use win Word in the run command so that the Word will be open. So in the previous uh, sessions, I have already uh, explained you the shortcuts of the run command, right? So once you go to that, and if you want to, I mean, whatever the application name you are giving, everything will be saved here. So you can observe here. So I just want to clear all the information of this particular run command. Okay, so for example, if you see, there is no calculator here. If I open a calculator by using the run command CALC, a calculator will be opened. And once again, if you open the run command, that CALC will be stored here. See, CALC, WinWord, iExplore, Chrome, Control Panel, PowerPoint, MS Paint, Excel, Register Editor, Ubuntu, Notepad, everything will be opened here. Right, so I just want to clear the complete history of run command. So in order to do this, again, go to the registry edit and on the left side, you will be finding around five options. Among that, just to select the current user, HK current user. In that, go to the software, expand the software and expand Microsoft and expand Windows in Microsoft and expand current version and expand the Explorer. So you can find the Explorer here. Yes. So Explorer. And in that just find the run MRU. Run MRU. So this is a run MRU. So select this one. And these are all the shortcuts created. Right? A, B, C, D. So it will give an alphabet for each and every shortcut. So you can see A registered it. B Excel, C Ubuntu, D Notepad, E WinWord, F MS Paint. So like that, whatever the application name we are giving in the run, that will be created here. And if you remove all these things except the default, okay, I'm just removing all the icons, all the files except the default, and just close and see. Everything was cleared in the run history. Okay, everything was created in the run history. Now you can observe here. So let us check. Uh, I will go with the registry edit. And I will show you. So he, see here, only one thing that is registry edit is available. Now I will open win word. So word is opened here. Now we'll check in that uh, run MRU. Expand Explore and run MRU. So one more file has been created with WinWord, right? So whatever the application name you are giving in the run command, everything will be stored in individual files here. So simply by removing all the files except the default, it will clear the run history. So it will create complete the run history, right? So hope you understood this one. So if you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.